We're getting classy up in this joint today. You can tell it's classy because I'm holding a glass of wine and I just spoke in a crappy British accent. Why is today so classy, might you ask? Because we're making three cheese fettuccine Alfredo. One, two, three. The only thing easy or cheap about Cara is her cooking. Only thing easy or cheap about Cara is her cooking. What you need? About a cup of grated Parmesan that I'll grade myself. About a cup of mozzarella that I'll grade myself. A cup of ricotta. A stick of butter. Eight ounces of cream cheese. A third or fourth cup of flour. A cup of heavy whipping cream. Our friend extra virgin olive oil. A package or two of fettuccine. And a glass of wine. If you're not 21 yet, you can use cooking wine. As you can see, I'm all out. So I gotta go with the regular wine today. Go with something dry or something you'd like to drink yourself. Step one, get some water boiling. Step two, preheat a pan on medium heat. First thing you want to do is get your stick of butter melting in your pan. While you're waiting on that, get your cream cheese cut up. It'll melt a lot quicker and easier in your pan. Some might want to call this four cheese Alfredo, but three is just a better number for a name. If your butter's still not done melting, get a head start on grating. I'll start with my Parmesan. Now my butter's pretty much melted, so I'm gonna throw in my flour and whisk it in to make a roux. You guys might remember this from the potato soup episode. Whisk it in entirely. Okay, you might wanna lower the heat a little bit so it doesn't overcook. Next step is to add your cup of heavy whipping cream. Whisk that in as well, because we like a nice thick Alfredo. I put less flour than butter in the roux, so it wouldn't end up too, too, you know, not sludgy. We, we don't want our Alfredo to be too much. Let's go ahead and add in your cream cheese. Cream cheese is going to take a little bit of time to melt down, that's cool because we need a time to grade the rest of our cheese. That's about a cup of Parmesan. Be sure to always stir a little bit. We don't want anything to burn. Smaller graters are better for Parmesan, but bigger graters are better for mozzarella. Mozzarella is kind of a pain to grade, but it is worth it. This cheese is so creamy and delicious. Just love it. As you can see, our sauce is thickened quite a bit, so let's go ahead and add in that wine to thin it down again. You want to do this nice and early because you do want to cook the alcohol out. Now it's thinned out quite a bit, but it's going to thicken right back up. My cheese is all grated, so I'm going to put it in. Here goes mozzarella. Stir it in nicely. Mozzarella is going to melt the quickest into it. Right, and then the Parmesan. Parmesan doesn't melt as quickly, but it's a great cheese, great flavor. Love Parmesan. See how cheesy that is? Then a good cup of ricotta. Ricotta, if you don't know what it is, it's that cheese that they put in ravioli. Ricotta is going to give it a bit of a grainy texture. Some people like this te texture, some people don't. Me personally, I do. Now, if you don't like one or two of the cheeses in this, you can always replace it with one, more of one of the other cheese. Oh man, that thickened up a lot. Look at that. You want to bring this down to a medium low, low heat. Just let it all come together. You see, it's really thick now. So I'm going to add in a little bit of milk to thin it out. You can do milk or water. Either will do you just fine. That's pretty much done, so I'm going to leave that on a low heat. And if you want to, after it's already been cooked, you can add in just a little bit of garlic, not too much. Alfredo's not as in need of garlic as spaghetti sauce is. Just mix it right in. This, of course, is a choice. When our water starts boiling, add just a little splash of EVOO. Throw in your fettuccine. Get it all under the water. And fettuccine takes a little bit longer to boil than regular spaghetti pasta because it's so thick and it thickens up even more. Be sure to move your fettuccine once it's in the water. That way it doesn't stick together later. 
The olive oil should help that, or salted boiling water, but I don't really like adding too much salt to my food. Once your fettuccine is cooked all the way through, you can tell it's cooked by taking a piece and trying it, and if there is no hard spot in the middle of it, it's already done. Just drain it like how you would any noodle or pasta.